Hi friends, we're going to take a look at Up on the Roof. I'm doing it in the uh, James Taylor style more or less. I haven't actually listened to his version for quite a while, but I've been playing it. I started out picking it off of uh, his version. It was originally written by Jerry Goffin and Carol King, the great Carol King, and the Drifters had a hit with it in 1962. And then uh, James Taylor did it in 1979. So you may notice I've got my capo on the second fret, and uh, this is a little bit of a trick. I do it a lot. It makes the guitar easier to play. What you do is you tune all the strings down a whole step, and then put the capo on the second fret, and it ends up you're back in regular pitch, but now the frets are closer together and the action gets a little bit lower and the strings get a little bit slinkier. So uh, it's a great way to do uh, acoustic guitar stuff. I'm playing with a set of 12s on this guitar so uh, if I tune up to pitch and I do stuff that involves playing down here it's pretty hard on the fingers. So this is a bit of a trick. So if you want to just play a regular tuned guitar, E, A, D, G, B, E. You're welcome to do that, but uh, it might be easier for you to follow along if you do what I'm doing. It's up to you. If you want to tune all the strings down, they, a whole step is two frets, so E goes down to D, use your tuner. A goes down to G, D goes down to C, G goes down to F, B goes down to A, and E, top E also goes down to D. D, G, C, F, A, D, instead of the regular tuning, and then capo on the second fret, and you'll be exactly where I am. So the song is in E, and if you don't have a capo, this should sound just like a regular E. And it starts off with this lick. This one way to call it is a F suspended. Here's a regular F chord, and if you take the three and raise it to a suspended four, uh, it would be this. But we're not going to play the A string, so we don't need uh, to fret that. In fact, you have to be careful not to uh, touch the A string. I'm playing this song with a pick. You could play it with your fingers. I use a pick because I throw in uh, something later where I like to do the, the pick strumming. So I've got my fourth and third finger on one, two, three. I'm going to call this the fourth fret. If you're playing without a capo, it would be down here. So first, second, third, fourth. It's the sixth fret, but I'm calling it the fourth fret. You get the idea. So you play an F sharp, second fret, and then fourth fret, and then you pick uh, descending from the B string. That nice uh, suspended sound. The next chord is a first inversion E major chord. Uh, you could think of this E major shape. Um, the grip is basically like an uh, C sharp minor, minor seven, but you're barring down to the bottom E string, and again, you're avoiding the A string. And you play the octave, this would be G sharp, G sharp. time he strums the G and B strings. Similar picking on the next chord. Uh, this is an A6 chord is one way to think of it. Uh, again here's your full A bar chord. One, three, five. If you 
put your little finger on the seventh fret. If you know, if this is the nut, this would be the seventh fret. Now you've got an A6 chord, A triad, A6 with an A bass. This I usually call an 11 chord. Another way to think of it would be an A triad with a B in the bass. But uh, if you think of this as the root, um, one flat seven, nine, 11. When you have a, like an A slash B, some people call those slash chords. However you wanna think of it. Okay, so F suspended. E chord with a G sharp in the bass, the third of the chord. A6, B11. Then into the verse, E major. When this old world starts to get me down, People are just too much for me to face. Like that, E major, when this old world starts to C sharp minor, getting me down, G sharp minor. And F sharp minor, people are just too much. And again, I would call this a B11. It's a little bit more properly a B11. You could, again, call it a A major with a B in the bass. It's basically the same chord here, but played here. It's just one difference is this one has one more note. So the intervals 1, 11, flat 7, 9, 5. So it also has a fifth. And I did a little uh, bass walk up. When this old world starts to get me down, and people are just too much. Bom, bom, bom. Up to the, the B. So from the F sharp, G sharp, fourth fret, A fifth fret, to the second fret of the A string, B. It's back to E. I slide my bass up to the A, 5th fret. And then a backward strum from the top E string. One, two, three. Up to the B on the 7th fret, basic major bar chord. Second part of the verse, I climb way up to the top of the stairs And all my cares just drift right into I'll do a little strumming on that 11 chord, nice open sounding B11. Now I do this. The bottom E rings through each one of these three chords. I call this a sort of a pivotal primary chord. Uh, the primary chords are the one, the four, and the five. In the key of E, the one chord is E, the four chord is A, and the five chord is B. If you go up to this position, here's a one chord, a four chord. This is sort of a C shape. And then to the fi five chord, B. This comes right out of the B rock and roll major chord. All over a droning, or in classical music, they call it a pedal tone. So on the piano, you can press the pedal and make notes. Uh, 
sustain. A little bit tricky, um, and I put a rhythm on it like this. So that's why I use the pick in the song. You, you could do it with your fingers. But I like the pick for that. Okay, let's review the verse E. When this old world starts to C sharp minor, getting me down, G sharp minor. And people F sharp minor are just to walk up B11 for me to face A, B. I climb way up to the C sharp minor, top of the stairs, G sharp minor. And all my cares walk up, just drift right into space, this riff. So it's E, B, E, A, B, E, E, all while you've got the bottom E droning. Next part. On the roof, it's peaceful as can be. So that's an, some people call this the long A. Here's a regular A. So it's got a fifth on top. Now you put a root, higher root on top. So you've got a bar with your first finger. And then I play a B7. This is the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven. There's the major seven. Here's the flat seven in a dominant seven chord. So that is a drone or common tone between those two voicings. On the roof. To, that's a B7 to C sharp minor. It's peaceful as can be. Back to the B major. I use my little finger for the bar. You can use your third finger if you want. And then back to the beginning riff. Down to an E major. And there the world below. C sharp minor. Don't bother. Jumping to a G sharp minor seven this time. There's the minor, but you want to get that note in there, so just your third finger on this fret. Again, the bass walking up. So again, that part. On the roof, it's peaceful as can be. second verse is just like the first when I come home feeling tired and deep I go up where the air is fresh and sweet now I get far away from the hustle and crowd and all that rat race noise down in the street Okay, can call this the bridge, I guess. On the roof, the only place I know. Like before. Where you just have to wish to make it so. Let's go up on the roof. So you can see what I'm doing there. Uh, I'm doing this pivotal, pivotal primary chords again. I call it a pivot because uh, the voice leading is uh, here's five one three, and then I go to a B chord one three five. So it's it's pivoting on this B note, and then it pivots up here, keeping this common tone, but. This just goes between the E and the B. And 
then to the A, B, like before. I'm calling that a break, and then back into a bridge. And at night the stars put on a show for free. And darling, you can share it all with me. Keep on telling you. Back to verse 3. That right smack dab in the middle of town, just like before, I found a paradise that's trouble free now. And if this old world starts to get you down, there's room enough for two up on the roof. Okay, the ending part. Up on the roof. Back into the beginning riff. Up on the roof. Pivoting between E and B with the E drone. Up on the roof. Up on the roof. Last time you also go to the A and then end with this. So here's the, uh, the A shape of the E chord, but you're doing kind of a G, a G shape, uh, but leaving the bottom E ringing. Now you've got a root up on top. That's pretty much the whole tune. Went through it kind of quickly. Uh, download from my lesson page. There'll be resources, the lyrics, and probably a PDF with the chord grids and everything. Cool tune. Good luck with it. I'll see you next time.